Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants Hey boo, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm coming today with another recipe Today I'm showing you guys how to do my stew chicken What, what? What, what, where did that come from, y'all? I'm hype. Anyway, I got this idea from the Batty Twins. I love them, y'all know them. Batty Twins, Batty, Batty Twins, Batty Twins, Batty, Batty, Batty Twins, hey! Batty Twins, Batty Twins, Batty Twins, Batty, Batty, Batty Twins. So they make theirs a little different than mine. They do a brown stewed chicken. I do red. So if you want to see how I do mine, my version of my stewed chicken, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I have all the stuff out for my stewed chicken and my coconut rice and peas. So for my stewed chicken, of course, I got the chicken over there in the sink. We're going to go ahead and clean that and take the skin and, like, all the excess fat and stuff off that chicken. So we got the chicken there. We have some green onion here, some scallion, a large tomato, a green pepper, a red pepper, some fresh thyme, um, some ketchup, some garlic powder, white vinegar, adzobo pepper, and um, the scotch bonnet. So for the rice, you guys have already seen my coconut rice and peas. I'll leave a link to my coconut rice and peas right here. Um, but yeah, for my rice, I got right there six cups of parboiled rice. And I have my small red kidney beans. And I got the coconut bar. Gotta have that for the coconut rice and peas. Um, some thyme also. And I float a scotch bonnet and use the adobo. But anyway, you guys, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna handle this chicken. And we're gonna take all the skin and stuff off the chicken. So let's get to that. Okay, so I have my chicken here, nice and drained and clean. I also have another pack of drumsticks that I'm going to add to this, but I didn't put it now because I don't want it to be like too crowded and you can't see what I'm doing. So to this, you see I have a little bit of water in the bottom from just the drainage. That's fine. You don't want it totally bone dry. So to this, I'm going to add some adobo. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up good. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other pack of drumsticks too. That's in there too as well. So if that's why um, it looks like it's more meat. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and chop up three stalks of this green onion. I'm going to use some for the chicken and some is going to go in the rice. So I'm going to go ahead and chop that up. Okay, so I have the green onion here. We're going to go ahead and put this in chicken. Don't worry, I clean the counters and everything. So, basically, this is all granite, so the whole kitchen is pretty much a big cutting board. But, um, yeah, so that's the green onion. Next, I'm going to uh, dice up this tomato. So, here's the tomato. You don't really have to worry about the size of the cut because it, like, totally breaks down um, in the pot while the chicken's cooking. So, yeah. Now 
Next, I'm going to chop up this green and red bell pepper. Okay, so we have the red and green bell peppers. I like to keep them this big size in case, you know, the kids don't like them. The kids don't really like uh, um, bell peppers, so, you know, we could just pick them out when we make their plates. So, ooh, this is going to be good, y'all. Look at all that flavor. Okay, so now we're going to add some of this fresh thyme. We're going to add about that much. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up all around. And then I'm going to cover it with the top for this uh, container. And we're going to let this marinate for like an hour. Okay, so this is nice and mixed up like you can see. Yum, yum, yum. It's going to be so flavorful. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to cover this and let it marinate for like an hour. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, baby? Yes. Can't wait? Okay, you guys. So my chicken has been marinating for like at least an hour and a half. You know, I was answering some emails and stuff. So it's been marinating. I got my pan on now. It's on like medium. Not super high. It's on medium. So, uh, let's get started um, on this chicken, y'all. It's, it's time. It's time. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this canola oil in the bottom of the pan. Not a lot. We're not going to fry the chicken. You just want it to coat the bottom of the pan. And we're going to do a, like a quick pan fry. So, like, you about to, you're going to see what we're going to do. So, we're going to put some oil and coat the bottom. just about that much you guys I'm actually going to take a little bit of this oil out because this is kind of a lot so uh, I'm gonna take a little bit out hold up okay so now this right here is the perfect amount you just wanted to like cover the bottom we're letting this um, heat up it's getting hot actually pretty fast so now we're gonna add some uh, white sugar and I'm going to uh, turn the fire down a little on this step. So. I turned the fire down. Now let's add some sugar. So we're going to put about a heaping tablespoon in here. Close to two. We're going to use that much sugar and we're going to go ahead and brown this in oil. Take the chicken out and put it in the pan and we're going to just rub the um, vegetables off of it because you don't want to burn. We're going to add that back to it later. So we're going to go ahead and rub this off. Okay, so I have all the chicken in the pot. Don't worry if it looks crowded. You know, you actually should have it like that way. 
um, we're just going to rotate these pieces and brown each and every one. All this is nothing but flavor. We're going to be adding this back to it after we brown it. Mm, it's going to be so good. But we're just going to go ahead and brown this. Okay, you guys, so the chicken is browned. I mean, it could brown a little bit more, but this is good. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these uh, vegetables back on top. I turned the fire down some, so now it's like at a lower flame. I had turned it up while I was browning it. But, um, yeah, now I'm going to put these veggies back in. Yeah. Now, okay, so that looks yummy, yummy, yummy so far. Now, let's work on this sauce. Here is the liquid that the uh, chicken and everything was in. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you guys what to do now. So now, to this liquid, we're going to add two of these serving spoon sizes of this ketchup. I know it sounds weird, but for the best stew ch chicken, you have to add ketchup. So we're going to put two of these spoons into this, and, um, into this, and we're going to mix it up, add some water. Now we're going to add some water. Just a little bit. Now we're going to mix this up. Now we're going to go ahead and pour this on top of the chicken. We're going to mix this up and then put the top on it and let it simmer on low for, uh, I'll say about 45 minutes. And while that's simmering, I'm going to work on the rice. So you guys, I put the top on. This is going to simmer and it's going to be so good. And um, yeah, I'm about to work on the rice now. The coconut rice and peas. You guys um, already saw how to make this. I put a link in the beginning of the video, a card on the, the recipe again, but I'm about to make it.
this cook down some more. Mm, you guys, so I turned off the stewed chicken. I'm working on the sweet plantain, but y'all yeah, look at this. Ooh, y'all see that? This is gravy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Is that gravy? Oh, it's hot, y'all. Damn. What? Mmm, look at that. That gravy. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Mmm. Mm, let's see my rice. Look at that. Perfect and chili. That's what they say, right, Shelly? See that? My rice is perfect. Look at that. That rice is good by coconut rice. You gotta make sure you don't bust the pepper. Rice is perfect. Mm, 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 mm. Look how it's gonna coat that rice. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna plate up and I'll be back. try out this recipe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to do your boo